the technology and uh, st english pages where we are now very fortunate to get in touch with uh, dr alok bhaspai who of course is well well known to suniyato having done a number of series and uh, in the past and we are so fortunate that we have him here right here sipping sipping his morning coffee and a very good morning oh, morning doctor. good morning Morning, so, morning, sir. So, and a very good morning to to all the listeners and viewers who are now uh, now connected with us right now. Uh, this is, of course, Dr. Aradi, and uh, as you are aware, Dr. Alok Bajpay. For those who do not know, which is would be very few people in the world, uh, he's a renowned. a uh, psycho psychiatrist uh, with a doctorate in uh, neuroscience and uh, currently uh, doing his own consulting uh, consultancy and associated with a number of uh, uh, post graduate and uh, related uh, uh, hospitals and presently he resides in kanpur and uh, he has been a prolific uh, uh, let's say uh, exponent of some of the wonderful uh, past experiences that our country india and australia have had he has been to australia as well as uh, was resides in india these days and his uh, one of his main uh, projects has been following the message and uh, uh, contents of thoughts uh, which we call as quantum of thought uh, which is where we are right now talking to you about especially related to gandhi ji but uh, now we are moving on a bit more uh, to the current times so a very good welcome to you dr alok bajpai alok for morning, sure sir morning sir morning i think it's afternoon there isn't it yes it's just after uh, 1 uh, pm so it's almost 10 past 1 so oh, right. for lunch and uh, so you've had your morning cup of tea and probably I'm yes. sipping. <laughs> Getting <Yeah>. intoxicated. <laughs> okay, great. Now, uh, uh, as uh, we can uh, move on uh, with the things, the topic for today we have taken up is, of course, uh, artificial intelligence. So, but before yeah. we start, that, we would like uh, Dr. Uh, Alok Bajpayee to tell us. Uh, what do he and uh, science of neuroscience uh, think of uh, what is human intelligence please right uh, see let me let me start from the basic scratch mm-hmm. when we when we talk of a term called intelligence mm-hmm. for ask anybody a, a school kid maybe uh, or a professor most people and ask them for a spontaneous response first thing they would understand intelligence is by what we know as iq mm. is very popular word intelligence mm. quotient quotient right yeah. now intelligence quotient is just a quantification of intelligence yeah. which started right. about 100 years back 120 years back but that has given an impression to people as if one number itself is intelligence einstein had high iq we have low iq you open the facebook page there will be so many games that you will telling how intelligent are you right right that that is a human curiosity which has been generated in the last 150 years <laughs> if you look at it oh, how intelligent everybody wants to know everybody want their kid to be intelligent right but that is all pop, pop psychology aha uh-huh. iq tests themselves were is structured for various political purposes at that time 
and the iq test which appears as one single entity and one single quantification mm-hmm. it is not one single thing the tests were measuring the verbal as mm-hmm. well as non verbal and performance part of intelligence all oh, right wonderful mm-hmm. so there are tests which are just verbally loaded and there are tests which are performance based mm-hmm. so there is a whole variation in that mm-hmm. but even that is a very very superficial layer of understanding right we have to answer a question mm. which the ai people of were also answering at the beginning uh huh what exactly is intelligence right right intelligence is not a monolith correct it is not one structure in the brain it mm. is not one process in the brain mm. it is actually the you can look at intelligence from various ways mm. you can look at the intelligence at a very very simple basic uh, i will see if i can share the screen uh, wonderful i can see it great right great yeah. all right okay so mm. so so what what we are talking about is as i said it is intelligent question is verbal or performance mm-hmm. human intelligence has evolved mm. there is a certain intelligence in amoeba also mm definitely yes there any cell certain, there is a certain intelligence in corona virus also it is appearing to be more intelligent than us <laughs> yes at least in its own its own sphere right. of, right? so like that I, i think if you have to trace back intelligence yes. the first intelligent thing would be the gene the first gene which appeared as life right was right intelligent enough Right. to realize that in face of the tsunamis and lightnings and the disasters and asteroids falling if you mm-hmm. want to survive the first intelligent thing would be to multiply right right the more right. you multiply the more you survive fair enough otherwise if 100 units of corona would have been released it would have been easy for us to finish it off but you <laughs> multiply you can't do anything with it right right, right. so what i'm saying the human intelligence the seed of human intelligence it starts right. from there and right. then came the nervous system mm. which all the time was gathering information from the environment mm. trying to understand for what to just survive mm. the mm. basic mm. intelligence of human mind is mm. present in all animals because right. all the nervous systems are working towards survival very true and anticipating the future mm. from where arises the reaction of flight or fight fight great you know now having said this so that means there is a certain basic intelligence mm. whatever we say i'm just telling you the basics forget the terminologies right every living being even plants communicate mm. they, that level of intelligence is with everybody very true now when we so obviously intelligence this is one layer of intelligence as we move ahead human yeah. intelligence has evolved with the modern obviously neanderthal were different than cro-magnon and cro-magnon were different from australopithecus we are different yeah. from other right now we are homo sapiens of last 2 lakh years or roughly so modern human being so what has happened is the thinking brain has mm. evolved later on mm. so when we mm. talk of intelligence now it is it appears as a monolith but it is not mm-hmm. it is so there is another word called cognition mm. intelligence has many functions mm. it has the basic function of problem solving mm. it also has abstraction judgment insight creativity orienting the self right. and over and above that mm. story building mm. very good so even if somebody who doesn't have much intelligence by iq test right or somebody who is labeled as mentally retarded that means yes. the iq is not matching the age yes still he would have a story of his own mm so mm. he has that much intelligence to have a story of his own right so intelligence is basically serving a purpose of in if i bring it cut it to straight to us right serving the purpose in a modern human being of survival right. of anticipating the future 
of mm. creating a meaning of life right and right. story mm-hmm. right correct right. that is that is the basics yes it, just to put it in very very succinct way so what yeah. is the brain brain is just 10 to the power 11 neurons which are in uh-huh. their place at the time of birth Right. with e- each experience which goes into the head mm. from touch to hunger to trauma to everything till about 18 years these mm. synapses are being formed so Correct. the synapses multiplied with 10 to the power 14 mm. and the brain is normally doing 10 to the power 18 operations per second wonderful wonderful so yes. and the physics varies from the quantum to the classical world in which we live the classical right. world which is cause and effect and Uh, determinism yes. and reversibility and all that so i'll not yeah. delve into that right if right. you keep this in mind yes. then it becomes easier hmm. to bring to bring us to the point if you ask yeah. me very very briefly this slide show will show you what yes. is what, what is happening hmm. is with the couple of people like weiner and von neumann and turing when they started to see whether machines can problem solve So mm. all AI actually has the basis in problem solving. Correct. So if you, I have just divided roughly. You see, in humans, mm. one set of intelligence is the skill set. Correct. So people can be very intelligent in their skills, but mm. they may be very very impulsive and uh, mm, totally reckless in their lives. Because <laughs> so that's why people talk of emotional intelligence these days. Right. So what we think of rational and thoughtful and logical and all that also has emotions in it because human brain actually what we think is laced with emotions. Ah. So intelligence also has a function of balancing the thought and emotion. If we keep right. all this background data in mind, then mm. we can compare the two things. So mm. at a very very basic level, problem solving mm. and skill set, which is a very very linear process. Mm, actually mm. matches to what we call artificial narrow intelligence true 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 artificial intelligence is the intelligence of a machine which can act like human in simplest definition exactly exactly right you, you so, have taken the words out of my mouth which i was going to yeah. explain yeah. about it you, uh, you, you can expand on that so i yeah. will just briefly put the uh, framework so mm. that is artificial narrow intelligence of uh, credit cards of weather forecasting a lot of yes. stuff in machines do for us if you yes. take a layer above that where the deep machine learning comes in which right. is multi layered which is the right. brain also does multi layered thing judgment right. creativity the essential process of human intelligence is self organization great right mm. that we are to some level our deep machine learning is doing it Mm-hmm. what is the aim the aim of say people like ray kurzweil and elon musk is mm-hmm. artificial super intelligence which yeah. can, which we are far away right now mm-hmm. but but having said this mm-hmm. what is super intelligent in human beings that we are experiential selves our subjective self is different in each person we are yes. conscious being with our own narrative mm. and our stories are emerging all the time mm. right mm-hmm. now computers do not have a emerging stories no the intelligence of computer right now is programmed by the natural intelligence which has evolved in human race at this juncture mm-hmm. the aim and the tamanna mm-hmm. people is why they have this tamanna i don't know sir don't ask me that why do you want to build a machine <laughs> tamanna to matlab aap ki kuch bhi ho sakti so ha so what is the diff- what what are people aiming at they are aiming hmm. at a machine which will be self intelligent self organized more creative will do everything that a human can do right emotions are at present not part of it hmm. but they are trying to include that also that is a ultimate goal why mm. we don't know so i will just uh, leave the, leave at this slide and then you can maybe add and we'll talk about other things so what yeah. is what is the difference between human intelligence 
mm. and the machine Pretty first right. human brain is an analog system mm. computers are binary digitized mm. unless the quantum computers come mm. right so human mind there is a so let, let's look at machine what machine offers machines offers speed it offers mm. the size of data it can handle mm. stability of data modularity mm. that is the organization and maybe when quantum computers come the faster speed superimposed the dimensions will increase compare mm. it with the human mind which is creating intelligence mm. the huge connectivity of networks mm. of 10 to the power 14 synapses mm. computer machine the hardware is built it is once it is done it is done what you work with is software and all that human brain continuously keeps developing it evolves according to the function mm. so the areas of touch will evolve with function the area of uh, emotion will evolve with emotion so the functions develop the structure right if it, right if it damages it self repairs mm. what is called neuronal plasticity mm. computers may be handling large data but the complexity mm. the complexity of what brain can handle mm-hmm. computers are nowhere near it right 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 because the amount of dimensions it can create the amount of stuff it right. can create a mm. whole narrative it can create experiential mm. the memory mm. and emotion which is diffused in the brain and what computers what people want with artificial super intelligence that the that machine should have a self mm-hmm. so the biggest right. difference is that self which human beings have the human yeah. intelligence all that they do whether it's spirituality or business or uh, whatever they do is yeah. actually at the end of the day even the search of god yes is, at the end of the day is for self very true very true Hard, hardly anybody goes to search god for god huh? <laughs> yeah i mean So, and they carry on doing their things even without having found one if they haven't found one absolutely absolutely <laughs> this is the ba- this is the basic yeah, it's because of that that yeah. Yeah. so this is the basic blocks mm. on which human intelligence and how artificial intelligence has developed obviously mm. you know the science artificial neural networks have been the basis of artificial intelligence right, because right. my clock pit and uh, they when they looked at the how the brain was organized then they started doing it in the machine correct so the computer the artificial intelligence is still not out of that basic uh, the brain thing but correct. let me let me just end this small bit then maybe we can discuss further is mm. that if you look at quantum physics richard mm. feynman used to say this if somebody claims quantum he can understand quantum physics he is lying is a fact <laughs> today also so there are two <laughs> schools in quantum two schools in quantum physics right. one says that you don't have to know it you can just uh, shut up and calculate <laughs> you understand yes. you don't have to know quantum physics you right. don't have to visualize it but mm. still you can do a huge mathematics on it mm. and build a technology on that without knowing the basics right basics right. you know but you really mm. don't know what is happening there <laughs> it is same with yeah. ai all right yes yeah. ai people they do not really have they do not want or they do not really know what is happening in the brain but somehow huh? yes. they are able to build up over it the mathematics and the technology is built over yes a threshold below mm. which there is total mystery mm. so that is the state of affairs yes wonderful